Hello, guys. Hello, hello, hello. How are we all doing? This is the Vapor Lounge, or actually, it's the Lounge Live now, isn't it? There, Frank. Can we change that name? Why is your yeah, head bigger than mine? I always have a bigger head than you. No, you. It's not okay for you to have a bigger head than me. All right, there we go. I have five head now. There we are. Now I've got a bigger head than you. Well, no. Now I do. But I can't go that big. As you guys can tell, we've been having some issues here this uh, evening. There we are. Volume is low. How about now? Is my volume better now? Or hey, now? Volume hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Don't just scream into your mic. How about now, Josh? Is the is the sound still low? All right, it's good. Beautiful. Awesome. Sweet. Um. So yeah, it's freaking Wednesday, guys. It's absolutely Wednesday. Uh, what did I do today? Um, built some coils. Hung out around the house. Hung out with some people in Zoom. Like I usually do. Discord. Did my social media bits. That's about it for me. How was your day? Ooh, let's see. So, I mean, so I ate breakfast around 11. Yes, people, I eat breakfast around 11. I don't care about what you think, but my first meal of the, meal of the day would always be called breakfast. I don't care. Snacks, I think. Um, I just drop by in my local vape shop and then see what's up. Because, I mean, usually I don't do that for, for like, a good reason that, I don't know, I just don't, usually. So, essentially what I did was, hey guys, like, what's up? Like, what's happening in the vape shop? And then, like, yeah, we have, like, new products here and there. Cool. Like, is there anything that's happening? Like, you know, anything advocacy-related thing? You know, I... Nothing much, really. Like, Hold on, Frank. Why? Try talking now. Try talking now. Bingo. Gotcha. That's why they couldn't hear you. Not very well. Okay. I got so, you now. I got you now. We'll do it. We'll do it. I, I have some more style now. Yeah, now even even talking at that level, you're you're coming out close to peaking on the microphone levels here. So we'll do ASMR style. Are you guys feeling relaxed? Are you... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Can you but hear like... me rubbing my mic? Right. <laughs> no, but honestly, like, one of the things that I did was I spent a little more time by myself today. You know. Just because, like, I could do that. And the best thing is also, I feel that, you know, we have not paid attention to, like, some of the sh venues and advocacy. So I tried to, like, browsing through, like, at least one hour of my day, maybe. Like, that's a lot. But, like, browsing through, like, news, like, what's happening here and there. So, yeah, man. That's nice. my but, life. Uh educating day pretty much an educating like, day no ed an edu education yeah you had an education day that's absolutely awesome because i didn't learn fuck all that day um dude i wish i could study you again like if like i was a little bit young when i was like an automaton i feel like i didn't value ed education so if you have like kids man if you yeah. have kids in high school or in college or in elementary or wherever they are. Let them learn the value of education, boys, lads. Absolutely. What's up? James, Rivera, Josh, Rhodes35, Chaos Pixie, what's up? Jason Leprechaun Parker, what's up, man? What's going on, guys? And to everybody else in the uh, viewers' rooms, hello and welcome to the stream. I'm just sharing this out real quick, guys. Please don't mind me at all. Frank, why don't you go ahead, kick it off, tell us what you're vaping on. I have the Vert 
with a dang RDA on top of it. Dude, honestly, like, I, okay, I'm a fan of post less decks sometimes, here and there. Like, I I try to, like, rebuild stuff as well, right? I'm, I'm not a builder. I'm not, like, you know, give me a wire, give me a drill, I'll do it. No, I'm not like that. But I appreciate, like, a well-taught RDA for this one, specifically the innovation in terms of the clamps. So there's that. And in that, I have my favorite sort of satisfying in this one, this bottle. Next, the Matchy Matchy Torin RDA and Torin Mech Mod from Thunderhead Creations. In that, I have, I think, what's up? Yeah, I have Kapow. Dude, Kapow. Very like candy flavorish. Next setup, I have the Fin the Dreamer, the Copper Content Contact, and Stainless um, Dreamer with the Ardent on top of it. And then I have Cactus Django by Van Gogh. Support local, of course. Last but not the least, of course, the Aspire Mollus Millet, millet or Mollet, whatever you want to call it. In that, mullet. I have no miners. It's Razzle Dazzle, man. Razzle, Razzle Dazzle by No Miners. Mm -hmm. Support nice. local. Like, if you have a local vape shop and they, not really local, but like local e juice company, like for me, it's like Van Gogh, which they do like a lot of your local root beer flavors, like the cactus with mango stuff, you know, like the yep. candy stuff, they do that. And the drinky stuff too, which is what I like the most. So yeah, like port local. Nice. Well, I suppose I should go over what I'm vaping on then, because I've got a few things. Uh, first up, we've got the Lustro with the Unicorn V2 or the Odium RDA on top there. Uh, loving that setup. I've got also got a really nice one here, the Blue Warlock's Hammer with the Apocalypse Gen 2. Uh, mm -hmm. Sitting on top with the broadside. We've got the brass, copper broadside and the brass OG goon. Love that setup. And we've also got the overpowered 21700 stack with the Trilogy RTA on top. And that oh, nice. juice that I'm... Oh, did I... I forgot, like... The most beautiful, I think, in my opinion, of all of the setups that I've got tonight going. We've got that black and green unicorn and vert mod. Vert life. Vert life, baby. Vert life for real. It's a thing. I didn't think it's it was going to be a thing, but it's a thing. Aiden's in the house. Little bro vapes. What's going on, my man? What's That's up? a big one, lol. Peter Muchko, what's going on? Oh, my goodness. We got royalty in the house. All the way from the UK. It's late your time, bro. But what do we got for juice repping? We got some sad boy custard cookie in the vert and unicorn. On the warlock's hammer, we've got some emergency vape stash strawberry milk. Nice. We've also got in the lustro, uh, the unicorn V2 RDA, the odium. We've got Charlie's chalk dust C3D. A nice vanilla ice cream in there. Ooh. And that then one. on the broadside and the goon, we've got some raspberry jam monster. Nice. Of course. And oh wait, I can't forget the little one. We've got the drag nano pod kit that I run twenty eight milligram sad boy blueberry jam cookie neck salts out of. That's what I got going on. So News and advocacy. News and advocacy. News and advocacy. News and advocacy. Advocacy and news. Advocacy um, and news. Advocacy and news. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, we all heard the, the story of what happened with New Jersey. Um, I believe Maryland is following along the same lines, and they've got some calls to action out as well, guys. So if you're in Maryland, look up uh Kasa, get the call to action call or write your uh legislators let them know what vaping has done to help you in your life and get you off smoking um 
by all means, please do this. It's going to help the fight. Uh, also, another state that's having this happen is New Hampshire. Uh, they've also got wow. they've got two bills being pushed through. One is a full flavor ban minus tobacco, um, and the other is a temporary sales ban on all vapor products. The least, okay, I'll be honest. Like, it was the least state that I was like, kind of like expecting. Oh my God, my boy Gabe's in the house too. Gabe and Tweak. Sorry, go ahead. Light designs. What's up, man? It's honestly, I we were talking about it, right? Like, I don't know, a month ago maybe. Yep. Like a month ago, and we were like, okay. New Hampshire, which is like they don't usually like implement this kinds of like laws or restrictions kind of thing. Yeah, you know they've generally and, been a low regulation to no regulation state. Yep, and then now you see them like this. I'm like, okay, like you're gonna wonder what's kind of like going on in their minds right now. Like, what is up? Yeah. And there's, and specifically, like, you'll wonder, like, what the hell is going on in not just their brain, their brains, but, like... Well, I, I thought they had it set, sorted for the most part. Uh, from what I gathered and, and the talks that I'd had with shop owners uh, out in the state of New Hampshire, the government had sat down, uh, the legislators of New Hampshire had sat down with the shop owners and wrote their own regulation. Apparently, now that's not enough. Mm. Apparently now something has happened in legislation that has triggered the the lawmakers in the state of New Hampshire to go, wait a minute, we need to do something even more. Mm -hmm. And I want to know what that is. Is it... It can't be money. I mean, I don't believe New Hampshire is part of the MSA. They might be. I, I just don't... Rem I can't remember. But... Just, I, I don't get it. Baker and Cuomo get got a hold of them. Nice. Yeah, exactly. Baker and Cuomo got a hold of them. Oh, oh, I know this one. Okay. By all means, Chaos Pixie, four things proposed. All right. She's going to give us the lowdown because, uh, well, T21, yeah. T21 is nationwide, right? Mm -hmm. I, I'm waiting because I want to hear this. 40% increase into what? Sales tax? Wholesale tax? I'm just waiting to hear this because uh, I don't know everything about it. She says no, no clue. Hang on. All right. So the way I see it is they're just jumping on the bandwagon. They don't want to get left behind, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It could be a, a variety of things, though. Um, mm -hmm. The biggest and, and most commonly heard argument is think about the children. Yep, think about the children. It's a 40% wholesale tax. 40% wholesale tax. Think about it. <laughs> I got to poop. Catch y'all later. Take it easy, Gabe. Have a good night, buddy. Dude. Whoop time, man. Like, that's what whoop time is for. 40% wholesale tax. That's stupid. Absolutely stupid. Okay. For the children. Yep. Well, it looks like, Rev Debo, it looks like we're going to have another state fall uh, like the others unless we do something very drastic uh, and get their attention. Um. I'm not saying go start riots. Don't light cars on fire, guys. Don't do that. We got to nope. handle this right and appropriately and professionally. But um, how, I don't know. I don't have a clue on that one. So um, down with dumbers. Or, yeah, down with the, the dumb shit and the stuff that will bring you down. Um, down with downers. That's the one. So, any uh, any sports games that you've enjoyed watching lately? 
I have, okay, I have enjoyed watching football for the longest time, okay, and my team is going to the Super Bowl. There you Chiefs go. Chiefs Kingdom, man. I don't know about what happened with other teams, but Chiefs Kingdom, man. But other than that, like, I've been watching a lot of basketball. Hockey, I'm, okay, I'm trying to, like, stay on top of hockey scores. Just because, first of all, my... That's not football. <laughs> <laughs> That's not football. That's not football, says Aiden. No. Okay. <laughs> No, you got to remember, he's from the UK, so football to him is, well, soccer is their football for us. You mean, you meant football? Football. Yes, football. Okay, I mean, first of all, the Bruins lost to the Penguins. There's that. Shut Second of up. all, they won against the Golden Knights, and I don't know what's going on with them. Dude, they... Ugh. I don't know how they pulled it off. Third of all, did they have an upcoming game against the Jets, which they're going to lose, by the way. What do you kick it with? <laughs> no, I don't know, man. Well, I kick balls. <laughs> the Bruins have been in a bit of a slump. They They started off real good. Real good. We had 20 games, 20 game wins under our belt before we started really going on a losing streak. And, um, yikes. Yeah. Well, you, like you said, they bit it with the, uh, the Penguins. But, um, last night they really pulled it out. They were back two to one in the third. And somehow they pulled it out to get another two goals. Wolf bite lethal Dave Satek. What's going on, my dude? Dave Satek. By um, the way, they get, they're gonna lose against you know my Canuck. So I don't know. Uh, when's our next game? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, but the um, Canucks, the Canucks Bruins gonna be on Tuesday, which they're gonna lose. By the way. Oh, there's another game on tonight. No, there's no games on scheduled for Thursday or Friday. Actually, all stars, I think there's Saturday games, but those teams have yet to be determined. Well, whoever doesn't have an all star, there's that. <laughs> oh, so we're nearing the end of the regular season. Mm hmm. We're getting ready for playoffs. Okay, so Chaos Pixie says first, T21, second, 40% wholesale tax. Third, banning all flavored close pod system. Lastly, an all out flavor ban. Okay, like everything on that list, the T21 doesn't make sense, first of all. It's already like we already know that. Second of all, the wholesale 40% tax. It's like, like, what the hell do, do you guys already want? I mean, the already want our money but like we already didn't know that so dude 40 percent wholesale tax just imagine like how much it is because like they we got additional 20 percent tax and i really feel it i really felt it you know why because i bought like i bought like pack of pods and a salt neck for this one for my mills right it costs around thirty dollars, Canadian. But like with a tax, I think it went up to like around forty, fifty bucks, which doesn't make sense at all. So I don't know. Like banning all flavored those pod systems. Honestly, like if I'm gonna trade that for a flavor ban, sure. But an all-out flavor ban, that's like, come on, man. You're just trying to like be ridiculous like it's not really fun now to like oh fuck you, you know, matt talk about <laughs> where's the hex home <laughs> fuck you matt where's the hex home yeah i know where the hex home is it's not here yet but 
just talk to a shop in New Hampshire. They think 21 plus will go through. 21 plus has to go through. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Federally, 21 plus has been made legal. So it's a thing they have to abide by. They don't have a choice in that. The state can't say, oh, well, even though it's T21, we'll still let 19-year-olds buy tobacco. They can't say that. They can't do that. So that has to be. I'm just saying. What's up, big mother trucker? I know you're getting me info, and I appreciate that. Um, I did see a bill, though, that was there for a temporary halt on all sales. On all sales. Uh, It looks like something very similar to what happened here in Massachusetts the first round when he did that temporary... uh, He did a temporary ban on all vapor products uh, here in Mass, Charlie Baker, when he first started his tirade. Um, And I think that's exactly what's going to happen in New Hampshire, sadly. Mm. Absolutely. Um, But the 40% wholesale tax, that's going to bury people anyways. Mm -hmm. There's not many distributors or wholesalers that are going to want to process that kind of paperwork or pay that money out. Which is insane. Um, Anywho, what are you guys vaping on out there in chat land? Uh, Let us know in chat. Give us your setups, what you guys are vaping on tonight. What do you guys want to talk about? Let's hear some uh, opinions in chat. What do you guys have? What would you like to discuss? Uh, What topics would you like to hear our thoughts on? Uh, By all means, throw those out into chat as well. We'd love to hear from you. Besides, we're kind of struggling here at the moment. I've My brain got kind of fried from the pregame here because we had a lot of things going wrong before the stream actually started. So, um, oh, and they passed one so that any distro, sho- any distro for shops in New Hampshire have to have and hold a tobacco license. Yeah, and obviously most aren't going to bother. Yep. That's right. How many we got? We got tall people in. Yeah, boy. Vaping on the Aegis with the Kelpie RTA and Profile 1.5 on the top side dual. Very nice. Very, very nice, Peter. Um, yeah, let's talk. Here's a question for you, Frank. Mm-hmm. With all of the new AIOs and pod systems that are being released, okay, do you see people becoming less and less concerned with battery safety? And do you think it's being phased out? Okay. Up until recently, like, I actually, like started using a- AIOs and pods, right? That's like, by up until recently, it's like September until now, I'm still using it, okay? But the thing that, wor- that scares me about AIOs, actually, is the RBA sections are actually really good that it just replaces pods right now. Like, and the thing is, with all the, these things happening, I don't see people getting care less about it, but they'll care less. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they'll be actually not find the right battery for it, simply because they say it's a regulated mod and then it can go anywhere. But still, like, the battery still dictates, even if there's, like, what you call it? There's there's a proper term for it when you're actually using a voltage and then you up the voltage of it. Like, yeah, the, there's a certain term I forgot. But like, what's up, Tunin? By the way, and Dave said that like, um, there's a thing where there's such so much things that your battery can do. So there might be care less about it or they might care less about it so 
I don't know, like... I didn't mean be careless about it. I meant they just don't concern themselves with it. Usually, that's how I feel. Yeah. And I'll, and I'll be honest with you, because, like, let's say, for example, if it's just, like, an 18650, especially, like, u- using them, mm-hmm. I would slightly... I would slightly be cautious, and I'll be honest. I'll be slightly be cautious more on on an eighteen six fifty rather than a twenty one seven hundred. My reasoning is, eighteen six fifties have their limits that all twenty one seven hundreds have. What you call it? Have actually risen up to the challenge, which is like the voltage, and not the voltage, but like the power that they could produce and the amps, and not just that, but like the stored power. So, in an essence, that's how I feel about it. They might not care much about it, but right. we'll see how it goes, right? Because, and we've already proclaimed this in the Wolf Bite podcast, but just by the way, you should watch it every Wednesday, um, 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. Slide plug. Um, this year would be slightly be an AAO year. Okay, like, this is an AIO year. For That's just how I feel. Because last year was pods, you know. We're going through that cycle again, so... Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Shameless fuck. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, do that shit. How about you? Like, yeah, I, I agree with you, though. I think that people are... Um, the AIOs are, are kind of the thing. So I think that batteries like... You know, removable battery mods like the Warlock's Hammer or mm-hmm. your Mac mods or, you know, your even your Lustros with the 18650s. Your 18650 cells, 20, 21700 cells. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of people aren't using those or buying them anymore aside from the hobbyists. And mm-hmm. I think that battery safety has taken a back seat. I think that people have forgotten about it. I think that it's something that needs to be relived, and maybe we'll do another. Um... Oh, okay. Uh, I think we'll um, do another uh, another live based around battery safety. Mm-hmm. You know, I I don't hear much about it anymore, and we used to hear about it all the time. Yep, and we used to like hear about it, like let's say. Okay, there's an upcoming Mac mod, right? Like, let's say, just for an example, there's an upcoming 21700 Mac mod, constant contact again, you know, and it's like a tube mod, right? Mm-hmm. The thing that people would cry about initially when they're released is you feel that a lot of people will talk about, okay, this is how you build it, this is how, you know, you could enjoy it, and this is the RDA that you should go. Okay, that's fine. Like you, you actually talk about it. The only thing that I fear about the most is, okay, you build through the Mac, but like, how much cost would it be to build to a Mac than to build to your battery? Because let's be honest, like right now, I feel that it's like people are actually not exactly fighting over which one's lower, but which ones would be on the limit of not being safe. Right. Like, you're trying to, like, cross, you know, that cliff, you know, that Tom Brady actually crossed already. No, I'm kidding. Like, you're trying to actually cross a cliff, and you're trying to, like, you know, okay, is this safe? Is this safe? Is this safe? The question is not just that it is it it is safe but how enjoyable would it be because a lot of people would go through like okay and this is just like a short term like or a short discussion about electric stuff right okay like a 21700 especially like a 30t which would go for like 35 amps right Mm -hmm. 35 amps would be healthy in let's say for example on the 0.12 areas or 0.1 areas if you're stretching it right the only the only thing is 
uh, you're sacrificing actually the battery life and the not the battery life per se, but you're actually sacrificing the power because the ohms actually dictate how much your battery would pump out. So let's say, for example, if, and that's the illustration, right? Your resistance actually holds off you, the amps on on your Mac mod. Mm-hmm. But the only thing is a lot of people try to like do like, okay, I like the point one twos, like I would go for it, but it doesn't actually make it a little bit satisfying because there is like what you call it a, a good chunk of voltage drop that you know mm-hmm. that actually goes through. Whereas let's say for example you build just let's say a point one five and that's enjoyable for you. So you know you could build around like those areas and you'll be fine. The only thing that I'm concerned about is how wise is it for like other people to like build on that certain battery so well you know what i mean not, like even if they're not using them on max they i think that battery safety is something that they should need to know even if they're yeah. using in something like this you know um it's just even the most basics of of battery safety need to be relearned um, i don't know too david say <laughs> yeah but i don't know too man I, I need subtitles, but for the most part... I need subtitles. <laughs> I'll make some up this week. Yep, and for the most part, and let's say, for example, like, even the shortest battery wraps, right? Mm-hmm. If you know, like, okay, and let's be honest, there are some times that you feel that a battery has, you know, we all know that, whatchamacallit, that VG's not flammable okay yeah Flam- flammable flammable whatever want to pronounce it same, same shit but if your batteries already had those you know those not grease but like leftovers from your you know from or not batteries but yes actually if what? your batteries already have like your leftovers from the juice because sometimes it could go it could go there right and then you haven't changed your batteries and taken them properly you know okay you mean so, if you have some liquid on your your battery yes okay and Wipe then you off. have not properly taken care of it so i mean that's kind of like a, bit, a borderline actually dangerous so you know just i don't know man like even on regulated mods you see okay like this battery certainly doesn't look good but right. I'm still gonna use it because in your head it's regulated. But yeah, batteries don't care about regulation when they're shorting out on each other. Yep. So <laughs> you know, Absolutely. shut up, Tuna. No, I'm kidding. But like, it's in an essence, you know, whether you're using a regulated mod or not, like, check your batteries, check the wraps. Are yeah. they pop- are they good? Specifically, are you not? Are you overdraining them? You know. So. Yeah, you know yeah. it. Yeah, I hear you. And yeah, I think that it's. A, <clears throat> I think it'd be a good thing to revisit. That's it. You know, I think coils are going to be something to get revisited too. I think maybe we'll do a, a show from down in the workshop one night. Yeah, like maybe do that. Specifically, like a, a lot of people are also curious about builds, and. A lot of people are curious about how people actually build coils. So, you know, I feel that there might, yes, I feel that there's a resurgence on coil building. So, you know, like next year might be the year of the max. We'll see. We'll see. I doubt it. I doubt we'll it. See if we still have the year of around. Yeah, this is, you know, as much as I hate to say it, this is the year of prohibition. Yes, because honestly, I hate to say it, this is the year for prohibition. Honestly, even like Maryland, right? Like a lot, a lot of this is. There's like a lot of battles going on in Maryland. You see New Hampshire, and yeah. then up until recently, like Jersey. What's next? Like Arizona, or like you know, 
like right. something Idaho, you know, or even like not. I was supposedly saying, uh, what's the, what Delaware? I almost said Denmark, but like Delaware. Denmark. <laughs> yeah, because I'm Danish. I'm kidding. For me, every year is the year of the Max. Yeah. Love you, Day Saytag. Dude, this this is ups, the year bro. of the wolf. I don't know what you're talking about, man. This is the year of the wolf. It's my year. No, I'm kidding. But... The, no, actually, part. it's not. This year is actually the year of the rat. I know. I'm okay. also part Chinese. Are you? A little bit. I'm contaminated. I'm contaminated. Oh, my goodness. Well, I don't know, Frankie. I'm not feeling so hot tonight. What do you think? Uh, should we wrap this up a little early? Yes. Yeah, you think so? All right, guys. That's going to do it for us tonight. We'll see you again next Wednesday night. Same. A little promo, by the way. Um, Rescued Reviews, guys. Sponsor from Vaping with the Omis, Wolf Bite. You know, they're really good people, especially Kelly and Nick. Like, I've hung with them and Zoom Rooms and Discord, too. They're really awesome. So watch their show, Rescued Reviews. The guy... They're going rather to have Joey from Prohibition. Mm -hmm. So there's that. So if you guys could um, go to Rescue Reviews and check the show out because they're really awesome. Like they really got a good part, not party, but like they have a good talk show going in there. So after this, 5 p.m. Pacific and 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, there's Rescue Reviews, our beloved sponsor from Wolf Bite. So yeah. Not at all, Chris Tuna. That is not accurate at all. I don't know who the hell told you that. This ain't going nowhere. Fuck that. Hell to the no. Hell no. <laughs> I don't fucking think so. <laughs> uh -uh. Not gonna happen. Anyways, guys. He's gonna give it to me. Yeah. If I give it to somebody, it's going to be to my wife, so it stays in the house. <laughs> and you can use it, Phil. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining us for the lounge. And uh, it's been great having you guys here with us. And, um, yeah, sorry there wasn't more content. I'm not feeling so hot tonight. So, uh, guys, big love. Stay cool. Stay safe. Stay happy. Beyond all, keep it cloudy. Keep vaping. And remember, please do remember that no matter how bad your day might seem, you are the master of your own destiny. You're the only one in this world that can pick and choose how positive or negative your days will ever be. So remember to keep that positivity high. Keep the smile on your face and let that negative brush off your shoulders. Love y'all guys. Take it easy. Have a good night. And we'll see you next time. Peace.